Shipra English Medium High School, Keshkar. Class 8, Subject English, Lesson 2, The Shoemaker and the Elves. Good morning students. I am Nibha Maiti, your English language teacher. Today I am going to narrate a lesson called The Shoemaker and the Elves. So the headline of the story itself makes it clear that this story has two prominent characters. The first character is the shoemaker. It means who, a person who makes or manufactures the shoes. The second character is an imaginary character, elves. Elves is the plural of elf. Elf means a little fairy-like creature with two pointed ears. Now let's begin the story. You can see the first picture children. Who is in this picture? This is a shoemaker. This is a picture of shoemaker who was very poor. And uh, you can see the second picture of this lesson. This is a picture of shoemaker and his wife. Shoemaker and his wife lived in a little house on the edge of a wood. And you can see also, uh, this is a picture of a shoemaker's wife. She is stitching shoes. And this is a picture of shoemaker. And shoemaker is cutting the cutting leather to make shoes. Next, once there was a very poor shoemaker, he and his wife lived in a little house on the edge of a wood. There were not many people who would buy shoes from the shoemaker. Each day his store of leather became less and less. He did not have money to buy more leather. Day by day the shoemaker and his wife grew poorer. At last there was leather for only one pair of shoes. The shoemaker cut out the last pair of shoes. He said to his wife, tomorrow I will sew them. I think you, you read aloud again with me this paragraph, children. Once there was a very poor shoemaker. He and his wife lived in a little house on the edge of a wood. There were not many people who would buy shoes from the shoemaker. Each day his store of leather became less and less. He did not have money to buy more leather. Day by day, the shoemaker and his wife grew poorer. At last, there was leather for only one pair of shoes. The shoemaker cut out the last pair of shoes. He said to his wife, tomorrow I will sew them. Now, once there was a very poor shoemaker, he and his wife lived in a little house on the edge of a wood. In this paragraph, it is said that once there was a very poor shoemaker, do you know who is a shoemaker? A person who makes shoes is called a shoemaker. Okay? Shoemaker means a person who makes or manufactures shoes. Okay? And uh, age. Age means the place where something, especially a surface, ends or border. You can say, oh, what is the meaning of age? Age means border or boundary. Where did the shoemaker live? Now question is this. Where did the shoemaker live? The shoemaker lived in a little house on the edge of a wood. You can see in this paragraph. Okay children. Now there were not many people who would buy shoes from the shoemaker. Each day his store of leather became less and less. He did not have money to buy more leather. That means only few people who those many who those purchase shoes from the shoemaker. Each day his store of leather became less and less. Store of leather means stock of leather. You can say stock of leather or quantity of leather. Each day quantity of leather became less and less. He did not have money to buy more leather listen carefully he did not have money to buy more leather 
at last he had no any money to buy leather or more leather okay now question is this why was the shoemaker poor the shoemaker was poor because there were not many people who would buy shoes from him i repeat this question why was the shoemaker poor the shoemaker was poor because there were not many people who would buy shoes from him day by day the shoemaker and his wife grew poorer now day by day the shoemaker and his wife grew poorer at last there was leather for only one pair of shoes they that means day by day the shoemaker and his wife became poor poor and poorer at last there was leather for only one pair of shoes so when all the leather finished what happened they are left only leather for only one pair of shoes the shoemaker cut out the last pair of shoes he said to his wife tomorrow i will sew them okay what he said he said that tomorrow i will sew them that means he would sew them the next day so tomorrow means next day grew means became you can say also at last there was leather for only one pair of shoes the shoemaker cut out the last pair of shoes he said to his wife tomorrow i will sew them was the shoemaker rich or poor the shoemaker was very poor okay next morning the shoemaker got up and went into his shop next morning the shoemaker got up and went to his shop in this paragraph it is said that next morning the shoemaker got up and went to his shop he was surprised he was surprised at what he saw what he saw so when he saw he was surprised or he was astonished surprise means you can say also astonished amazed okay there he saw a pair of shoes there he saw a pair of shoes it means in his shop he saw a pair of shoes he had never seen a better pair of shoes that means in his life time he had never seen such a better pair of shoes that he saw in his shop the shoes were perfect the shoes were perfect okay and the stitches were fine the shoes were perfect and the stitches were fine they were so very well made that they were sold at once what it is said in this line it is said that the shoes were so perfect means very good and the stitches were very fine and excellent they were so very well made that they were sold at once that means it was made such a way or in a very beautiful way that it was sold very fast or at once now i repeat the meaning also perfect means without fault or defect and surprise means amaze and astonish what did he see the next morning in his shop i repeat this question what he see the next morning in his shop next morning he saw a pair of shoes in his shop how was the shoes the shoes were perfect and the stitches were fine now children i hope you would understand this paragraph so i will come back with this lesson come back with another video to continue the lesson but till then you must read the story in advance so that you understand better thank you students good day